my fellow Americans, back again. Today's topic, all right? Again, we're going to touch on that that beautiful thing we call freedom. Maybe dive a little deeper. I got a couple gripes on my mind. I got a couple couple things to get off the chest, but you know, I just sometimes I just I want to talk. I want to get it out there. And if somebody's willing to listen, maybe accept a perspective just slightly different than their own. Hey, you know, you never know what could happen with that. You know, we could we could change the world. I want to I want to touch on freedom of speech and uh, its application with social media. Do we all have freedom of speech? Can we say what we want? Can we talk about whatever we please? Yes, essentially. Doesn't mean there's not repercussions. There's consequences to every action. You know, every action will have an equal and opposite reaction. You know, what have you? You know, Newton was a smart guy. But here's the thing: everybody's got an opinion. Everybody, and that's okay. That just can create varying perspectives, and some are going to be good. Some are going to be bad. Some folks will agree, some folks will disagree, and that is totally cool. You have the freedom to do that. You have the freedom of your perspective, the freedom of your speech, what you want to say, what you want to think, what you want to do with the knowledge that you gain or the knowledge that you don't gain. That's a beautiful thing about it. We're seeing a lot of pain in this world right now. The world is burning, it's on fire, and I'm tired of watching it burn. And I know I'm not alone. I'd I'd very much like to see that peace on earth. It's uh, it's a sad day when we uh, we have to, well, when we have to look at the dirty laundry and kind of stand in it. It happens. Now, my analogies might be lost on some people. Forgive me. I'm not the best or most well-spoken person there is. I'm not, I'm not a professional speaker. I'm simply a concerned American citizen. And uh, I'd like to spread the love instead of hate. I want to incite happiness and desire and fun rather than fear and deception I don't (laughs) I don't know what's going on with the whole world I don't I don't have all the answers nobody does or if they do they're at a price but you know that's how it works it's just my opinion that everybody voiced a little bit more of this happiness and spreads this love. If everybody did a little bit more of that, we, could, we might be all right. We might turn all this around. Folks shouldn't deal in absolutes. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to do and how to do it. I'm not telling you how to live your life. Your opinions are your own. What you do with it is up to you. But as a God-fearing man, you know, God... The apostles, Jesus, all they, they left a good bunch of rules for, uh, for folks to live by. They make a lot of sense. They really do. And uh, even even the best uh, <laughs> and most practiced Christian will will falter and fail in in the pursuit of such commandments. We can't follow the rules all the time. We're not perfect. We're not Jesus. We're not God. So inevitably we are going to fail. But what's the beautiful thing about being human is failure is not the end. Oh, well, being a Christian human, I should say. Failure is not the end. You can ask forgiveness. You can atone for your sins. You can move forward. It's the love of God. The love of your fellow man as well. Your friends, your family, your loved ones. They will support you. They'll bring you together. I'm looking at this country 
This country should, it was and is, it's a, it's a family. It's a big family. You got a lot of differences, a lot of different siblings, a lot of different neighbors. But we're a family. We're an American family. And right now we are just, we're, we're out of line. We're out of sorts. We're, we're fighting and bickering with each other so much that there's no forward progression. There's no progress being made. Just pointing fingers about he said, she said. And I don't like what that person's doing. He's being mean. That tweet offended me. <laughs> Guys, we're never going to get anywhere like that. Didn't your mother ever teach you uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me? I was told that constantly. Yeah. Sticks and stones will hurt. They get the point across, though. Woo, buddy. Those name calling? Yeah. Call me some names. No worries. Brush that off. Words. <laughs> Words are powerful. Don't get me wrong. But your mind is even more powerful. It's what you choose to do with those words. What you choose to do with that freedom of speech that really makes the man. A lot of people think that I should not be discussing this. My family thinks I'm crazy for doing this. For voicing my opinion, speaking up, standing in the light. But I think more, more of this needs to be done. If you, if you got something to say, say it. Let's, let's get it on the table. Put the cards on the table, folks. I'm calling your bluff. That cannot. It doesn't make sense to me. So much fear and so much hate, so much division in this country. We can do so much better. And I'm, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you guys out. I'm calling myself out as well. Because that's ever the hypocrite here. I can do better. And I know if I can do better. And I'm admitting that. I can't be alone. So maybe a little more honesty. A little more... Clarity. Self-awareness. Maybe that'll help. You gotta be honest with each other, folks. It starts, it starts, you know, right here. The man in the mirror. Michael Jackson. Okay, he was just an artist, but he might have been, might have been a smart fellow. We all have our strong points. We all have our weak points. Okay? Nobody's perfect. There is entirely too much division in this country. We are one nation under God. Period. Okay? One nation under God. Indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. You guys remember saying that as a kid? I do. Saying it every day. Standing up at school, putting my hand over my heart, and saying the Pledge of Allegiance to this great flag, this great nation that we all reside in, we represent. Okay? This flag is a freedom symbol, not just for this country, but for the entire world. There are people out there, as we all know, that are suffering, are in pain, are afraid for their lives, that look to our flag as salvation. America is the saviors of the world. But just like a single person, just like a single body, we cannot affect outward change without first looking inward. If we're not right with ourselves, we can't be right helping other people. And maybe this is my arrogance talking to you now. Because I'm not, I'm not 100% with myself. I'm not all fixed up. I'm not, I'm not perfect. <coughs> I never will be. But I got, I've got more to give. I've got more. I've got more to do. Everybody can do more. So let's, let's take a little bit of time and out of our day to see you. Whose hands are reaching toward us in our country and outside of our country? Reach out and grab that hand. 
be that savior, be, be that guidance, be a be an ear. Listen to what they have to say if they're in pain. Help them out. Don't judge them. You know? We all have our struggles. Gosh, we do. But we cannot keep fighting like this. I mean, I feel like we, we, we've lost touch with that foundation. Our mothers and fathers used to whoop our butts for this stuff, guys. And we're adults. And we're just squabbling like little kids. We're pointing fingers and, and pulling ponytails and calling people names and being silly. This is like playground nonsense. Guys, we've graduated from this. We, we got so much more range, man. I feel this stuff. I'm so passionate about it. I just want to get it out there. I want, I want to be that voice. And if this doesn't reach you, that's cool, all right? If I'm just talking to myself, then it's good for me. But if, if, if I can reach somebody else's heart and transfer that love that I have in my heart to your heart, then it's not wasted breath. I have, I've failed so much, guys. I have done so much that I'm not proud of starts with you. If you can make peace with that, if you can forgive yourself and move forward in a direction that you know is right for you and right for people around you. Guys, we can we can change the world one step at a time. One person at a time. I know the social media is just flooded with fear and hate selfishness selfishness and, and that's scary and we got pandemics and we've got uprisings we've got people trying to hang on to exteriors of jets in Afghanistan trying to get away from tyranny and evil we can sit here and talk and waggle our fingers all we want guys but the reality is the world's hurting. And we can do more to help. I can do more. I've got more love to share. I've, I can set a better example. I can do better for myself. Anyway. Once again, I'll step down from that soapbox. I stay on it sometimes. But it's because I love you. I love this country. I love the values it was founded upon. I love the potential that it still has. And the people in it. We're a family. We're a big, dysfunctional, loving family. Stand up with me, guys. Hold my hand. Hear my hear my hear my heart. Okay? Because it's all for you. Let's change the world. Alright, my fellow Americans. Have a good day. Peace out.